what is expected in a group interview? Join me in this discussion as we highlight some of the key qualities or behaviors to watch out for whenever you are you have an upcoming group interview that you're required to participate in. My name is Mary, in charge of training and career advisory services here at Corporate Staffing, and I am joined by Evelyn, one of our interview coach that we have, who will be unpacking more on this subject. Thank you, Evelyn, for joining. Thank you so much, Mary, for having me here. Yes, it's been a while. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I'm looking uh -huh. at group interviews. Uh -huh. What could be, how, how is it different? How, how does it differ, group mm -hmm. interviews, from individual interviews? Yeah, so there's quite a, a lot of difference from the two. So our group interviews differ from individual interviews in the following aspects. Number one is participants. So you'll find that in group interviews, there are multiple candidates who are being interviewed as compared to um, individual interviews where only one candidate is being interviewed. Mm. And then secondly, we have observations. So in group interviews, you'll find interviewers are looking at the candidates. How are they communicating, leading, or even listening? And just how are they contributing to that uh, specific team that they've been put in as compared to uh, an, in an individual interviewer by now the interviewers want to explore more mm -hmm. on the um, candidate's experiences and even background mm -hmm. if they suit that particular job. Mm -hmm. And lastly, um, we look at uh, competitiveness. So you'll find in group interviews there are competitive elements whereby candidates are evaluated rela uh, relative to one another mm -hmm. as compared to individual interviews whereby um, interviewers only focus more on assessing the suitability of that uh, candidate mm -hmm. for that specific role that they're being interviewed for. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mary. Now, what is coming out for me strongly mm -hmm. is uh, there are specific behavior yes. or that interviewers are paying attention to in a group yes. interview. Right. Would you shed more light on mm -hmm. what are these key qualities or behaviors that employers are watching out for from a candidate during mm -hmm. a group interview, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, how can candidates effectively be able to demonstrate mm -hmm. some of these qualities or behaviors? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, when it comes to group interviews, mm -hmm. of course, the uh, interviewers are looking for specific uh, qualities from candidates. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first one is leadership, leadership qualities. Are the candidates able to um, actively participate in the various groups, taking initiatives as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. And secondly, we have collaboration. Just being well to work, uh, being able to work well in a group setup mm -hmm. to make sure that you also contribute uh, well to that particular group. And lastly, problem solving skills. Mm -hmm. Are they able to bring out uh, well, the problem solving skills by uh, offering creative solutions, yeah, given uh, group exercises. Mm -hmm. So, how well can they um, effectively bring out these qualities? Number one is through preparation. Preparation mm -hmm. is very key. Mm -hmm. That is usually the number one thing. Mm -hmm. So they have to do a thorough research on the company and also the job requirement so that they can be able to uh, give the right responses in that interview. Mm -hmm. And secondly, it's um, active listening and communication. So they have to be able to um, listen actively in that interview. And how do you do this? You can nod to show you understand the question mm -hmm. and um, also, you be our, uh, for candidates, they should be aware of nonverbal cues, mm -hmm. like body language, gestures. Mm -hmm. And uh, lastly, when it comes to communication, they should be able to communicate clearly and concisely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Effectively. Yes, During the group activities. Yes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Could there be any specific do's and don'ts, perhaps, that candidates need to be aware of when it comes to group interviews? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are quite a lot of do's and don'ts that candidates have to be aware of before even getting into that interview mm -hmm. uh, itself. So I'll start with the do's. This is the most important. They have to do this to just make sure that um, they give their best during that interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, one of the do's is preparation. Mm -hmm. They have to prepare very well. Mm -hmm. Get to research on the company, its values, and even just the, the, the job requirements. Okay, get to know the specifics of that job so that they can be able to answer questions correctly. And secondly, uh, it's being, uh, of course, engaging during mm -hmm. the group interviews. Mm -hmm. They have to participate given uh, probably if they've, they've been given um, uh, an exercise to, to do, they have to engage with the rest of the team mm -hmm. to make sure that um, they give uh, what it takes probably in that particular question mm -hmm. or what they've been tasked with at that particular moment. Mm -hmm. And then they should also 
be able to listen. Mm -hmm. Listening skills is very, very important mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, group interviews. Mm -hmm. And this is because it will help them be able to listen to what uh, the rest of the candidates are saying and also be able to ask relevant questions. Mm -hmm. And of course, listen to what the interviewers mm -hmm. are asking mm -hmm. <laughs> to avoid giving wrong responses. Mm -hmm. And then also they should um, be uh, team players by of course showing the, their willingness and ability to work well in a group setup. Mm -hmm. And lastly, it's following instructions, which is also very important. Mm -hmm. So a candidate should be able to follow instructions, get to listen to what the interviewer has said. What, has, what, what, what are some of the instructions that they have to follow mm -hmm. for that particular exercise to be, um, to be done? Mm -hmm. So that will help them to, of course, uh, give the right responses, mm -hmm. given the exercises. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mary. I know someone is wondering now, mm -hmm. can we get into the don't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, like, uh, probably that is what they're waiting for. And it's true, there are some don'ts that you shouldn't do as a candidate when it comes to group interviews. And number one is uh, dominating the conversation. Mm -hmm. You'll find that people, with, okay, there are people with different personalities. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a group um, setup, you'll find that people who behave differently, that the talkative ones, mm -hmm. others are very quiet. So mm -hmm. avoid, try to control yourself, do not dominate the conversation. Especially the extroverts. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mary. So uh, avoid dominating the conversation and give a chance um, to others to speak as, as well. Mm -hmm. And then also um, for those who usually feel like uh, they're shy and uh, probably they're quiet, they mm -hmm. should um, not show lack of uh, engagement. Okay, so a lack of uh, uh, engagement in a group uh, interview, it, it, it's perceived negatively. Mm -hmm. So active participation is encouraged. Okay, mm -hmm. and lastly, interrupting others, showing that you, you are the know it all, you know, just giving answers, interrupting others, mm -hmm. not even giving other, uh, others a chance to speak, mm -hmm. it doesn't. Um, it's it's not a good sign. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you you, you avoid the don'ts and. Uh, Prepare more on the don'ts, mm -hmm. or on the do's, so that you can be able to, to get it well in that mm -hmm. interview. Yes, mm -hmm. Mary. I know group interviews comes with a lot of stakes mm -hmm. being high. Right. Considering maybe you consider yourself mm -hmm. um, an introvert. Right. And you can see someone who is outspoken, mm -hmm. you already feel like you're not making an impact. Yes, yes. So it's important to be aware of the do's and don'ts. Right. Thank you so much, Evelyn, for sharing with us. You're welcome, Mary. Thank you so much for having me here. Great. Okay. Indeed, as you have heard, we have different type of interviews. And in case you are taxed with um, uh, an, a group interview where you are put together with other candidates and you have to exude the right qualities that interviewers or your potential employer is paying attention to, depending on the position you are being interviewed for. It is important to pay attention to the do's and don'ts. And it also is also important to know how best to effectively demonstrate those qualities so that you stand out among the other candidates. We do encourage you to reach out to us whenever you have any upcoming interview and Evelyn together with all the other coaches that we have will be able to shed more light and tailor your session specifically to that role so that we prepare you wholesomely for whichever type of interview that you have coming up. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.